darlings. Welcome to our sanctuary. Home. Um, yeah. Like, uh, oh, okay. All right. In enter cackle. <laughs> okay. Mobility. <laughs> Mobility. Mobility day. We were trying to lower I feel the like tempo. It's every time we have the long sleeves on, everyone knows. Oh yeah. Hang on. Oh. Hang on. Do it again. Wait, I can't. Woo! <laughs> Are we doing it? I don't know. Did we do it? Did we? Can I? Okay. Mobility day. All right. So we are. Today is twenty. Actually, nineteen today. Continuous movements. One minute movements, and we're gonna get the body all. Lucy Goosey feeling good. We're really happy to hear that you guys are loving these mobility days because we do too and it's a sign that you guys are doing all that other work. If you really appreciate a mobility day, we know that you've been working hard in those other areas. Mm -hmm. So good on you guys. And we're going to keep bringing them to you because we know that they're a fan favorite. Yeah, when you get right? to them, you fully need them. Like, I'm yeah. so excited about some of this work today. Yeah. Just the ability to slow it down and really sink into your movements. Yeah. Equipment. We need a mat. That's a all. That's mat. all. And yeah, for the finisher, we're going to do booty finisher today. We need core band, a plate, or some kind of weight that you can load onto your front for a glute bridge. And then pink thing. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. It's booty. Boo like it's no, what's that song? Big, big booty. I got it. There's a song. I don't know that one. I need to send this to you. All right. Is it new? You guys know it. I don't know new. It's <laughs> Iggy Azalea and uh, yeah. who? Who is she singing with? I don't know. Um, I know you know what it is. Big, big boot. J Lo. J Lo. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, we digress. Time to bring it back down. All right. So we're gonna start those one-minute movements at the tippy tippy top. We're doing that neck mobility. Ten minutes of warm up. Here we go. So guys, we usually do this in our warm up or we've done it this week and we have to kind of like be aware of the time. Right now we have one full minute so you can really hold for a little bit longer in those stretches. I'm a happy camper because of that. <laughs> Thank you. So when you're down in front, facing up, facing downwards, you wanna bring that chin in. Think of tucking the chin in and then reverse it, making sure that chest doesn't puff up. You're just gonna gently fold the head backwards, looking up at the sky. That part can be uncomfortable sometimes if you don't do it on the regular. Then over to one side, again, not thinking about bringing ear to the shoulder so much as, as much as opening this side, bringing chin to the ceiling. Then other side, try to even it out. Give three seconds. Okay, for our next move, we're gonna roll our shoulders back, float your arms up just to shoulder height, okay? Palms are fully extended, and then we're just gonna figure eight. Okay, now the tendency here is to move your wrist and not much else. That's not what we're doing. All that movement is originating from the shoulder socket. So your wrists are only moving because your shoulder bone in the shoulder socket is moving. Get it, got it, good. Okay, so figure eight. And if you can somehow figure out how to switch directions of your figure eight, I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> My brain doesn't work that way. You can, okay? Again, wrists are fairly quiet. Arms are only moving because the humerus, shoulder bone in the shoulder socket is rotating. Quite humerus, in fact. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Four <Five> seconds. seconds. <laughs> Three, two, and... All right. All right. Now for one of my favorites, forward bend. So nice deep breath. Coming up onto the toes if you can. And then a forward bend. Stay here. One, two. Feel that stretch in the back line. Gently come on back up. Up to toes. Back down. You'll feel yourself being able to mobilize even further in that forward bend the more we go on through the minute 25 seconds left oh. 
Oh, it feels so good. Really reach with those arms. Don't forget about that top portion. Woo. Almost there. Five. Should we try to get one more in? There Ooh. we go. I'm ending on a high note. Okay, so we're gonna stand with our feet about hip distance apart. You wanna be firmly rooted into the ground. Interlace your fingers, then flip those palms all the way up to the sky. So pushing down with your feet, pushing up with your palms. We're gonna go over to the right side. On the inhale, big exhale, push through those palms as we take it over to the other side. <sighs> Again, think about flaring the rib cage on the side that we're bending away from rather than compressing through the side that we are bending on. Always inhaling to bend, exhale to bring your body back to that midline. Breathe in and out. I feel like this is gonna be the quietest I ever am in a video because all I wanna do is close my eyes and move. Breathe, keep your traps down. We've got about six more seconds here. Let's try to go one more time. Beauty. All right, so we're gonna work on that. What is this called? This is sagittal plane. We're gonna move out lateral. to the lateral side. So we're gonna step out with that right foot, bending down. We're gonna move in it over to the left side. So we do these in warm ups a lot too. Stretching out that inside of the leg, those adductors. Ooh. Mobilizing the hips, coming up onto the heel, increase that stretch. Oh, that feels like so good. Thing. What would you be if you were an animal? What animal would you be? Lion. Lion? I love lion. I'm a Leo after all. I feel like I need to be something that does the like, Mom, a, like a, panther. Tiger, panther. a panther yeah okay so we are going to come all the way up to the back of our mat and inchworm down so we're going to articulate through our back body as we roll all the way down walk our hands all the way out to inchworm hands directly below the shoulders take that right foot forward and then fold deep into that hip stretch okay take the right leg back come back to your come inchworm <laughs> just to your toes as we walk it out to the other side oh, hands below the shoulders opposite leg comes forward as we drop oh. into that hip oh that feels so good I'm adding in a twist i stayed there for a little bit longer just for you jess <laughs> Okay. Guys can always put a bit of a rotation on it, like I am, so oh. stepping out, rotating, oh. dropping that hip. You'll feel an amazing pull through here. Or you can stay in those hip flexors Ooh. like Tammy. Okay. Oh, coming all the way back up to standing. Okay. Right. So now we're going to come down into a squat. When you come down into the squat, try and go as low as you'd like. You can turn it into a deep squat if you want. Power up through the heels, and as you come up, use that momentum to step back, down. Can I do a little bit of a yes. sachet? Make it fancy. You can add in a stretch here. So sachet. reach them over if you'd like. Nice deep squat. You got in that wrist action, Tammy. I think I was a ballerina <laughs> in a past life. I definitely am not graceful enough for it in this life. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to stay in that um, squat stance. In fact, get your legs a little bit wider, toes pointing out to the top corners of your mat, almost right at the tips. And then we're dropping our bum nice and low. Elbows come to the inside of our knees. Think of driving the hips forward on the inhale. On the exhale, hinge at the knee, head comes down, bum goes up. Inhale, drive the hips forward, keep pushing outward on those knees. <sighs> And we're aiming to keep a nice flat back. So no turtle shells here. <sighs> Inhale down, hips go forward. Exhale, curl on up. 
How good does that feel? Oh. oh my At the bottom, right here. Right here. My favorite oh. part, inhale and fall further. You can just hang out here if you'd like yeah. and jostle from side to side. Jostle. Jostle. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh my goodness. Squat with some, okay, so we're going to stay hips facing forward, but we're going to do an internal rotation with that right side first, dipping that knee in. All right, so when you come back to center, you want to keep that hip facing forward and then just internally rotate whatever side we're working. These sneak up on you. Yes. Like right now. Like a sneak alert. Like sneak attack. attack. Oh. It's not that often we do an internal rotation like this. I love it. That's good. Probably why. We're almost there. Eight more seconds. Remember to keep the hips facing forward. Even as you rotate down. Okay. For this next one, we're gonna come down to the ground into all fours, quad position, quadruped. We're gonna flip the palms to face your knees. Shoulders are back and we're hinging back. Now keep your eyes on Jesse for this one. Remember to keep your gaze down. Because of my wrist mobility, I'm gonna swap this one out. And if you find that this puts too much pressure on your wrist, you can always do a wrist roll as well. Just rolling the wrist out. So what Jesse's doing will relieve the forearms as well. You'll feel a nice stretch through them. You're not gonna get a forearm stretch through what I'm doing, but it'll definitely help with wrist mobility, especially if you spend a lot of time on your computer. I can't imagine if sitting every day on a computer and then doing a stretch like this, it must feel like either heaven. so painful or amazing. A little bit of column A and a little bit of That's column well. B. <laughs> All right, good old cat cow. So we're gonna flip those hands around if you were doing what I was doing. Who are you calling just, a cow? Just take <laughs> a quick look that wrists are under shoulders, knees are under hips. I'm gonna round out that back, depress the shoulders, tuck that tailbone under, and then reverse it. Powder chest, bring that head up. Pushing through the palms, tailbone to the back of the room. Keep that going at your own pace. Remember to draw that belly button in, in that cat pose. Almost there. Exhale, Eight more right seconds. Up. Really lengthen that front line. All right. Nice. Okay. So next up, we have a rocking side bend. Okay. So we're going to keep our hands directly below our shoulders. We're going to hinge back for a rock and then reach over to one side. Come back to center. Come forward. Push the hips back and then reach over to the other side. <laughs> feels good. <laughs> feels so good. We're gonna try to get our heels and our bum to connect ideally. If you're not there yet, that's okay. <sighs> like we're painting rainbows. I like rainbows. Today's mood, unicorn. I like coming over to this side as far as I can go and then reaching for the outside of that hand and feeling such a nice stretch through that side body. Do it while you keep that bum heavy on the heel for a little bit of added flavor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh! Oh, are we out of this? We're, We're out, out of this. this. I don't want to be done. All right, <laughs> downward dog. Okay, so we're going to come into downward dog position. Up on the toes, making a nice V with the body. That's it, Tammy. You can tap it out if you need to kind of loosen up or stretch in this position first, bringing that head in between the shoulders. Then we're gonna tap out. So reaching back to the outside or the inside of that foot, whatever you're capable of. Right hand to left foot, and then other side. 
really seeing how valuable a pedicure would be right about now. Don't you come near my feet, Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> No! Not fair. <laughs> Don't do it. It's winter. Wool socks are like hell on the toes. Like hell on the toes. Okay, so we're coming into all fours for a floor scorpion. Again, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Push into both palms with lots of energy. And then we're gonna lead with the toe of the right foot. Drop the heel towards the bum. Let the weight of the knee open you all the way up and the right hand comes all the way up towards the sky. Graceful. So to come out of this, engage the core first. Start with the hand and let that oblique pull you back to center. We're taking it over to the other side. Point the toe, heel to bum. Let the weight open you up. <sighs> okay. To come back, arms first, oblique, pull that leg back. Do we have time for one more on each side? Hell, Let's we're just it. gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Let's just do it. Run it OT. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Every now and again, feel a little bit of heaven. We gotta That's even amazing. up. We gotta even up. Yeah? Right. Yeah. Don't cheat. <sighs> you guys keep going one more. Oh. Forget that timer. We make the rules. Oh, so good. Right. Okay. Now we get to lay down. Come onto your back, supinated position. Legs straight out in front. Try and bring the back down onto the mat. Just that natural curve hovering. And we're just going to hug those knees. Be conscious of that straight leg. We don't want it to come up. Maybe we're, we're too intensely pulling that knee into chest, if so. I like to almost pull it in towards the armpit. Get a nice, big external rotation. Oh, that was too so quick, fast. right? Okay, walk your right, feet we're in. We're making changes in March. We need to extend this thing. Right? Walk your feet in. Heels nice and close to the bum. You can take your arms wide if you need to. Feet starting at hip distance apart, and then we're just going to sway the knees from side to side, feeling a nice stretch through the lower back, like through the QL, quadratus lumborium. So one hip peels away from the ground. So take it over to the other side. The opposite hip peels away, keeping your back heavy on the ground. We'll start to peel away at the lower base of the ribs, but for the majority, majority of your rib cage should still be nice and heavy on the ground. Feel that stretch through the QL. How good does that feel? So good. So good. Push that top knee down. Uh, Maybe we stay here for yes. the end of time. <laughs> we can't. You know why? Who would know? Who would know? Child's pose feels so damn good too. Oh, that's why. So start Whoops. in quadruped position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna draw that tailbone back, reaching way out in front. Feel that chest stretch as you move those fingers, fingertips further up. And you're going to come across the mat, along the mat, into Cobra. Hips are just hovering above the mat, opening up that front line. Push the tailbone back. Restart. I think we got to talk about this one too, huh? What do you mean? About being too saucy. Saucy, saucy, no. saucy on you. People know this, don't they? Oh my God, feel that front line stretch. This is amazing. Shoulders down and back, reach the chest forward. So good. Keep those toes tucked under at the back. No Ooh. way, one more, I'm finishing. Right? Okay, There's we're gonna oh no, come into more. seated. <laughs> we're gonna bring the soles of your feet together and walk your bum in towards your heels. Big toes together, interlace your fingers and scoop them under. We're gonna think of gently pulling up on those feet while the knees go out to the side. So some of you may find that you're all the way up here. If you are, 
gently push down with your elbows on the inner thighs and we're trying to get the knees nice and wide as we flap it out for butterfly this is a great one to loosen the hip flexors glutes and lower back so if you're sitting for a long time and you feel tightness in your lower back drop down to the ground and just do a couple couple minutes of butterfly yes. you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome it's one of those things sometimes it's easy that you feel like there's no effect but there really is so good let's take flight yes. <laughs> all right so just extending those legs out in front sitting nice and tall making sure that spine is stacked we're just going to walk those hands forward don't oh. look at your neighbor don't look at us close your you eyes guys do you Relax the neck as you fold forward. And then you're gonna walk back up. We're gonna see if we can add some mobility. So right now, if you're touching kind of that shin, that mid shin line, see if you can get to your ankle by the end of the set. Just gently increase the range of motion. Some of you may even be able to bind the hand around the outside edges of the feet. If you're binding, shoulders down and back, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Get deeper into that fold. Ah, okay. From here, I want you to take those legs out to the side. Okay, and we are folding forward. From your fold, we're gonna walk both hands out to the left side. Think of reaching beyond that right leg. Breathe as we walk both hands through center, over to the right side. Aiming to bring your forehead down to your knees. That might not actually happen for some of you, but that's okay. That's the intention that we're putting out there. Oh, keep it going, keep it going. This is our last exercise for mobility, our very last one, and then we're gonna go into that finisher. Oh, I want more. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, and back to center. From here, pull that lower belly button in and restack the spine and bring your legs together. Oh, Yay. I don't, I don't want to finish it today. We have, we have booty, booty, but I don't want to stop. That was so good. So, good. so, so, so good. I think you hit the nail on the head. I think for March, maybe we lengthen, yeah. we lengthen this. Because I feel like I could do this forever. I feel like yeah. just, is I that think a song? Maybe we ditch the finisher and we extend the What mobility. do you think? Yeah. yeah. Get out of here, finisher. Okay, we'll but doing. for today, we're working on the booty. We're going to add some mass to the ass. We're going to add some plump to the rump. We're going to put some junk in the trunk. <laughs> right? Okay. Right.